The province of Newfoundland and Labrador is close to bankrupt. If the province does go over the edge, the impact on the rest of Canada will be enormous. Newfoundland's total debt, including that of its public utility, is over $26 billion. Its GDP is declining by half a percent per year. And by 2050, the median age in Newfoundland will be 55 years. So how did we get here? In 1966, Newfoundland signed a deal to give Quebec cheap energy for 70 years, reducing tensions over Quebec separatism to keep Canada together. Decades later, the federal government clawed back Newfoundland's offshore oil revenues by cutting off equalization payments. Canada stayed united, but Newfoundland got poorer every year. Economist Jack Mintz warns we are running out of time. If Newfoundland and Labrador goes bankrupt, all provinces will face downgraded credit ratings, increased borrowing costs, and higher taxes as a result. Is there a solution? Stabilizing Newfoundland's debt would cost Canada $1.4 billion a year until 2041. That's less than a third of a percent of our nation's annual budget. It's time for Newfoundland and Labrador to get a fair deal. In this election, make your voice heard. Go to schroederpolicygroup.org and ask our political leaders to save Newfoundland now.